Okay, Miss Avery, say I am one month old today. Look how long I am. I'm pretty hungry. Mommy woke me. I just had a good nap. Hello, beautiful. You are one month old today. And tell them, say if you want to know more about my past month, continue watching. Hey everybody, so today I'm here with Avery's one month update for you all. Today is March 13th, another Friday the 13th in a row, which is crazy because Avery was born on Friday the 13th. But um, this is her one month update. I kind of made a list of things that I'm going to follow every month to kind of update you guys on different things. So I'll go through that list, but then of course at the end, if there's anything else that I want to mention, I will do that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started with my list. So the first thing is how big Avery is. Now I haven't had her weighed since her two week appointment and you know now she is four weeks the next time she does go to the doctor will be her two month but um, last time we were at the doctor she was back up to birth weight which was seven pounds five ounces but I I do strongly believe that that girl is now eight pounds I have no doubt in my mind that she is now eight pounds she definitely feels a lot heavier but that's just me I hold her every single day and she does feel a little bit heavier so I'm gonna think she's eight pounds but uh, just to be safe she's still in the seven to eight pound range last time she was measured as well she was 20 inches so she has grown an inch since she was born and she definitely does feel a lot longer as well which is crazy as far as eating goes I mentioned this in my postpartum update but I did try to breastfeed Avery I had her on the boob for a couple of days while we were in the hospital and that's how she was getting the colostrum and everything and all those really good nutrients and my milk came in and I was able to give her my milk however she didn't get a real strong latch onto me she really just couldn't latch um, she was having like a really really rough time doing it so what I decided to do was to exclusively pump so I was um, expressing my breast milk so I was able to pump and I was doing that for a couple of weeks however the demand the, what she wanted versus what I could pump I was starting to you know the ratio just wasn't quite there she was wanting more and more and my body just wasn't producing what she needed so um, we went ahead and decided to just go ahead and do formula for her when we had her two-day appointment she had lost a significant amount of weight which is what happens with most newborns however it was a very significant amount and the doctor was kind of concerned with it so she told us that she wanted to kind of do breast milk and try to bottle feed so we had already had formula in the house and she was taking well to that as well so it was kind of a tough decision and it kind of did her a little to think that you know my body couldn't produce enough to feed her but she's doing really great now she's taking formula she's doing you know all formula now and she takes about three ounces it's pretty much been three ounces for the past couple of weeks now um, it's sometimes it'll fluctuate sometimes she'll want less sometimes she'll want just a tiny bit more but usually it is three ounces as far as sleeping goes um, the first couple of weeks were newborn sleep I mean she was constantly asleep we really had to kind of wake her to feed her uh, but we kind of just let her make her own sleep schedule now she wakes up when she wants to eat you know she knows when she's hungry she knows when she needs change really well, we know really when she needs change because you can smell her but um, we kind of just let her make her own schedule. She sleeps for about two to three hours at a time. Lately, as of the past week or so, she's kind of been fighting sleep. And it's not that she, you know, cries or anything. She's a great baby. She really never cries. Um, it's just she's fussy and she just she just really can't fall asleep and she fights it really hard. But once you get her to sleep, I mean, that girl is out like a light for a few hours. So she's definitely been doing good as far as sleeping goes. She sleeps in lots of different places. She'll sleep in the bassinet pack and play, she'll sleep in the swing, uh, sometimes she'll sleep on us, you know, she's really great with sleeping. Uh, just lately she's been really fighting it, which is it's just, it's just kind of funny. As far as the clothing and diaper size, as of a couple of days ago we ran out of our newborn diapers, so we put her in size 1s. She kind of swims in size 1s a little bit, but uh, we don't feel like we need to go out and get any more newborn diapers. You know, she is a month old now and she is growing quite a bit, so we think, you know, in no time she'll definitely fit into the 1s really well. Um, so we did just recently take her out of newborns, which is so sad to me. Like, it literally just went by 
so fast. And then as far as clothing, she still fits in newborn. Uh, she's been fitting in newborns. Again, just recently, as of a couple of days ago, I started trying like the smaller zero to three month onesies that we have for her. And she swims in them just a tiny, tiny bit. But um, we're really slowly transitioning from newborn to zero to three. And I think that's so funny because so many people were telling us how we didn't need to get like, you know, hardly any newborn things. But our girl has been sticking it out in newborns for quite a while now. And, um, you know, we're slowly trying to get her into zero to three month clothes. As far as her favorite and least favorite things go, her favorite things are definitely mommy and daddy. She, uh, we're probably the only two people really that she recognizes completely because we're the only two people that she sees every single day and hears and things like that. Uh, so she definitely recognizes us. Um, you know, a funny thing is that whenever we were in the hospital and even coming home like the first couple of weeks, if she would start to fuss, one of us would just start talking to her and she would just immediately, you know, calm down. Just hearing the sound of our voice was really soothing to her because she was so used to hearing us. And then um, seeing us now because she can, you know, recognize us and see us now, um, it's very soothing to her. So whenever, you know, people are come, like people come over and she's excited and um, they're holding her and she kind of gets fussy because she doesn't really know who they are. You know, one of us will be like right there, like talking to her and making sure she can see us and she just calms down. It's like, it's the greatest feeling, honestly. So, um... That's kind of how she's been. We're like her favorite things, which is good. It's a good thing. Hopefully we're her favorite things forever, but that'll probably change when she's a teenager. Um, she likes to be read too, which is really nice. I've been enjoying reading to her. Last night we read Winnie the Pooh, and she really, really liked that. Um, she likes to be held. What newborn doesn't? She loves to be cuddled. She actually really does enjoy bath time. Not at first, because it's, you know, initial shock of cold, but she really does like bath time once we're in there and once we're starting to rub her. She loves it. Other than that, I think those are kind of a few things that she really, really likes. She doesn't have anything that she hates quite yet, other than, you know, being put down when she's wide awake, when she's fussy. She still likes to be held. Um, but there hasn't really been anything that she's really, really disliked. Um, she's been pretty good as far as things like that like we haven't really found anything yet that she's really just not like not having like she's there's nothing yet that she's just not having so um that's kind of been it for the past month the past month has gone by so so fast i cannot believe my little girl is already a month old i i don't know where time goes i've spent pretty much every single second of every single day with her and it still boggles my mind that she's already a month old um some funny things uh, she's she's funny. I can already you know you can already, kind of already see her personality. She's a funny baby. She's really hilarious. Um, like I said, she doesn't really cry. She's really good about that. I mean, she does cry, but not often at all. The only time she really cries is when it's like late at night and she wants to wake us up to eat. But um, before she does that, a funny thing that she does, she fusses. You know, she wakes herself up by fussing, um, and she'll fuss for a little bit before she cries. And I usually wake up when she's fussing because I can kind of hear her doing it. And I, you know, sit up and look, you know, over into her bassinet. And a thing that she's been doing since, I mean, she was a newborn, which is funny because it's only been a month. But um, she starts fussing and she'll throw both her arms in the air and start, like, waving them. Trying to, like, wave us down. To, like, like, hey, mom, you know, come get me before she'll start crying. It's the funniest thing. Like, she does it every single time. It's so cute. Like, and it's probably not, you know, like, waving us down. But it's so cute that she does it. And that's what it looks like. Um, and it's really, really funny. I love that. I think that's hilarious. Um, other than that, yeah, she's a great personality. She's super alert a lot of the times. When she's awake, she's alert. Um, she, you know, knows everything. She likes to see what's going on. If I'm, like, holding her and I'm sitting, like, sideways on the couch and for some reason her head's facing, like, the inside of the couch, she's not having that. She has to be facing the other way. She has to survey the room. She has to know what's going on. Um, it's really cute. It's really, really cute. So this past month's been honestly great to me. You know, it's fun trying to get in this little swing of things with her. It's been a little difficult getting in the swing of things with her because, like I said, we've just been letting her make her own schedule, which has been good for her. But um, it's kind of difficult for me with, like, filming and, you know, I'm in school now and it's kind of hard to kind of do everything, but I'm making it work and I'm loving every second of it. I have I love her. She's great. She's honestly the best and I cannot wait to continue watching her grow. I wish we could go back in time when she was born and, you know, I could hold her in the hospital. That was the best times of my life. But um, I definitely want to continue moving forward and continue watching her grow. She's, she's great, you guys. 
she's been the best baby like she's so good to us and I'm just so grateful that we got such a great baby she's so good and I just I love her so so much and I just I can't wait to continue watching her grow and continue sharing her you know growing journey with you guys I know you guys really wanted to see that uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one month update I'm really excited to put the next month but I hope this month doesn't go by too fast because it's gonna break my little heart because I don't want her to get old I'm so sad but um, I hope you guys enjoyed go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.